You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. This is why, you know, nothing puts your body uh, imperfections into perspective quite like a slow-mo video riding a I mechanical <laughs> bull. Oh my gosh, I'm a little bit mortified right now. And I'm not going to eat until 2015. See, it's oh, 2015. There we go. No, that was pretty <laughs> funny though. I was scared. I was all like big talker. Let's go ride the mechanical bull. Let's go ride the mechanical bull. Let's go ride the mechanical bull. Well, Georgia did it. And then once we got there, I'm like, I ain't getting on that do thing. This. I'm like, no, no way, no how. But uh, eventually, it was Renee Ritchie. He went, and then once Renee went, I was like, okay, now we all we went. Go. Phil went, but we all have injuries today. The, oh. the inside of the red right leg is really bruised up. That's so I guess funny. the way it spins, it just hammers hard. Have you ever uh, ridden a mechanical bull? Philip Nelson from New Tech. Welcome. Hi guys, thanks for having me. Uh, <laughs> you know what, mechanical bull riding is not something I've done yet, but I think I would try it. it it's gotta be on your, uh, on your bucket list, right? It's not on there, but I just added it. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna ride a mechanical bull, Callie. I, I, I have But I want you to be there. <laughs> okay, to take pictures, yeah, right? My blackmail videos, like exactly. you. Congrats exactly. on the, the excellent CES blackmail video. Thank you. Yeah, no, you always want to have blackmail <laughs> videos. It's a good thing. Good times. <laughs> so, Philip, uh, everybody, well, our audience knows you, um, it, and we have a lot of new people joining us. So, I want to make sure everybody knows who you are. You are. What's your official title over at New Tech? It's something like uh, entertainer. It is uh, <laughs> my official title's Chief Relationship Officer. Um, that's a new one. That's the best title I've ever is. heard. It basically means I, I, I hang out with interesting people and make sure cool people are doing cool things with TriCaster. Yes. So it's not a bad gig. Right on. Well, we, for those of you who don't know, we actually use uh, TriCasters in our production on a daily basis. Um, so right now we're running, which one are we running over there? The uh, six? Y'all are running the TriCaster 860. The 860. Here at uh, CES Live. And what's special about the 860? Fill in everybody exactly what it does. Well, you know what? First, I'll tell them what a TriCaster yeah. is. Uh, exactly. can, I, can I just say, when I started you, are hanging you, out with like John and like, Callie what? more, John would use the word TriCaster a lot, and it, it, I was always really impressed by it. I'm like, what is this magical TriCaster about? And then I started to learn, and then I finally saw one. I'm like, this is serious business. It is, uh, yeah. you know, so the TriCaster is a TV truck in a box. Yeah. You know, the giant 18-wheeler that people are used to seeing behind the stadium, we found a way to shrink it down into a small box and make it easy enough that Dave Curley can use it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave, I had to give you a shout out there. No, we love Dave. Dave is a stud. But, uh, but you know, it's, it mixes multiple cameras, rolls in your graphics, lets you roll in video clips that are pre-edited like Mechanical Bull videos. Right, yeah. and, uh, seamlessly. Because you gotta have that, that cutting edge content like Mechanical Bulls, right? Basically Absolutely. everything yeah. a TV studio can do with all the lower thirds yeah. and all of Graphics, that. Graphics, the works. We can do, yeah. and we could travel with it. Yeah, the, a portable live TV production. And, and what's really cool about TriCaster is that we tried to make it so that it was powerful enough that the Miss Universe pageant or the MTV Video Music Awards or Geek Beat TV can, it has enough power that it gets oh. the show that did, you need. Did you are, just put us on level are. with the VMAs? You totally are. There you go. But it's easy enough that like high school kids, middle school kids can use it and it's affordable enough that schools can afford it. So Price point, what is the price they point? They started for education around five grand. Okay. You know, and it replaces a million dollar television studio. And your top of the line TriCaster? Around 40K. Around 40, all right. Yeah. And let me tell you, I mean, we've tried different things uh, to try and put piece together, like kind of piecemeal it. Yeah. And it's, it's more expensive. It's not <laughs> as uh, seamless at all. It's everything is breaking all the time, you know? I mean, it's just, it's so worth it on so many levels. We love it. You know, it's, it is an exciting, you know, one thing I'd like to tell you, you know, with internet television being not an option anymore, I mean, even every, every corporation is doing some sort of streaming. Yeah. It's not a novelty. Right. You know, we're seeing that our clients are doing around 60,000 hours of video a week. Oh. 
That's a lot of video. That's that a lot of video. lot of video. And I have to watch every bit of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, and 40,000 of that's live. But, you know, I I anybody can make internet television yeah. now. What's really cool is it's like back in the day when desktop publishing was a novelty. You know, mm -hmm. now anyone could make their newsletter. It allowed a lot of people to do very bad newsletters. Right. And it made the craftsmen and the artists and the designers more valuable because you have respect for somebody that can really put together a polished show like you're doing Absolutely. here. It's not just grabbing a camera and plugging it into the internet. And that's really the premise of TriCaster is that internet television needs to look like television. Right. Yeah. Not dorm room video. <laughs> yeah of people playing pranks on each other. You know, and that, that has its time and place, but when you have a corporate brand and a message mm -hmm. and they you want, want to be taken seriously, it needs to look like television, yeah. so. That's amazing, I was watching from the hotel the room last night and it's just, it's a top of the line production, right? Like it's really impressive. You were watching out. the show? I was watching this show from the hotel room nice. last, last night or yesterday <laughs> afternoon, it was good. It was and really you were like, what is this I'm watching? Like, it's amazing, I can't believe we're involved in this. I'm so excited. <laughs> so uh, with your job, you actually get to travel a lot. I and travel you get a to ton. Meet so many people, yes. and you help put on their productions. Tell us. You know, some I, of that. I, I help advise. You know, uh, I see everybody's workflow. So when yeah. we're at the VMAs doing the red carpet, you know, I get to see how they do it. And when I go to Russia for Miss Universe, you know, I, I get to see all of these workflows. And so our clients actually benefit from my experience in that. You know, they're trying to do a show and they want to brainstorm. I've seen a million different ways to do it and what type of cameras they've used and uh, where and they we wireless. Do it best, or right? yeah, yeah, best practices. So, so we, chief relationship we, we officer, best. it's not just going for drinks. <laughs> you know what? Right. I, I actually have worked in production <laughs> for many years. So, you know, yeah, I can actually I can run the TriCaster or awesome. You know, Actually, you I think it. later we're putting you on our TriCaster hey, duty. Dave Curley needs a break every now <laughs> and I will be volunteer to give you a break so you can eat a delicious sandwich. <laughs> so you guys started out as um, what? If some people know the yeah, background. Yeah, no, that's actually interesting. Thanks your, for asking. Yeah. Um, you know, New Tech started in 1985, and in, the owner of New Tech, his name's Tim Jennison, and he was quoted in 1985, and it's one of my all-time favorite business quotes. He said, "In the next 20 years." your favorite TV show will be made by you or someone you know. <laughs> and to put that into context, the, no one used the internet back then. Right. A uh, huh. television station, what you ha in order to make TV, you had to have millions of dollars, and that was his vision, huh. is to democratize television, and it's really about the ideas, not about deep pockets. And so he started the quest to, to do what we're doing now and invented this device called the Video Toaster, which was the first. We get, wow. Right. We have, we have a, a fan club here. From but it was the first time you could make TV on a computer. <laughs> right. And, uh, and we won a primetime Emmy for it. And, and part of that was Lightwave 3D, mm -hmm. which was the first affordable 3D animation software, which allowed Babylon 5 to get made and Sequest and. You know, and even saw movies like Titanic and Avatar were done in Lightwave, and then TriCaster is our is our latest and greatest, and um, things are really amazing at New Tech. I, it's really cool to hear stories. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Looking looking back and and seeing somebody who's so visionary to be able to put something together that it leads to what we have. Now. It really is. I mean, it's funny. He jokes and says, "I just wanted everyone at home to be able to do this tr the Star Trek transporter effect. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you could just beam somebody up at home, that was success." <laughs> and he I did. Love that. You know, back in the '90s. But yeah, the, it, that that quote from the '80s. I mean, if you really put it into context, like I wow. said. You didn't have the internet back then, and, and he was saying, your favorite show is going to be made by you or someone you know, yeah. and here we are today in the middle of this. You know, maybe it wasn't 20 years, it was a little longer than that, but you know, it, it's come true. It's amazing. All right, so I want to hear your, um, the funniest production story that you've ever encountered with uh, New Tech. I can't share like. that. Oh, <laughs> Second come funniest. on. <laughs> Most of them I can't, you know, let me see, I'm trying to think. You know, the. I, I can talk more about fun stuff. I mean, cool things that we've done. Yeah, yeah. You know, go most for of the time it. when you're Whatever in production, you, share. you know, most of the time or when can. you're in a show, you, you, you a successful show means that nothing your side wasn't funny. Went. Right. You exactly. know, no smoke, nothing. <laughs> you know, the generators didn't die. You know, so. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's it, it's really neat because we, I talked about the democratization. You know, we're seeing so many more celebrities become their own broadcasters. Right. You yeah. know, you know the gatekeepers are gone. 
or dying and people that don't, the gatekeepers that don't adapt are, are having serious problems. I mean, if you look at the newspaper industry, they're having some issues and certain brands in the newspaper business are actually transitioning to delivering content online and mm -hmm. delivering content where people want to consume it instead of trying to protect the golden goose. Yeah. They, they, you know, and so like New York Times is doing a ton of cool video stuff with TriCaster, USA Today, a ton of cool video stuff with TriCaster. I'll do some name drops for you. Sure. Um, <laughs> Sports Illustrated, you know, Radio Row at Super Bowl. It's, it's just really, it's neat to see these traditional print outlets embracing, yeah. you know, live digital. Like USA Today, when the Olympics was in Vancouver, um, they wanted to do their own show um, live from Vancouver called Vancouver Today. And they, you know, space is a premium at the Olympics. You can't get studios, nothing's available. So they ended up getting a TriCaster and a green screen, and they did a virtual set with the skyline of Vancouver, and did all, all the reporters would just come into a little, I think it was a hotel suite, and sit in front of a green screen and talk about stuff and show content wow. that they've acquired out in the field. Cool. So you can make a, a newsroom show with a 10 square foot. You actually used to do that, didn't you? I yeah. mean, back in the the the, uh, the room the olden days. with the green wall and <laughs> back in 2005, <laughs> when I was a kid, we yeah. didn't have a green screen. Yeah, exactly. You hack it together. We, and, it was cool. And so many people, you know, that that's what's beautiful about the the world that we live in is that you can hack something together and still have an audience and um, do what you can with what you have. Yeah. You know, I, I do. I have one story that is it's not funny, but it's kind of weird. Okay. Um, there's a band called the Smithereens and. I I'm a huge Smithereens fan. Shout out to the Smithereens. <laughs> Go download all of their albums. What um, kind of music are they? They're rock. Okay. They're an they're 80s stud band. Okay. They're awesome. The Smithereens. Smithereens. So, uh, so they were doing a test, and they, they had released an album called Meet the Smithereens, which they said it would be funny to do a cover album of every song from the Meet the Beatles album and in Smithereens style. So it was okay. called Meet the Smithereens. And they were going to webcast it from the B.B. King Club in New York. And so they got there to do the production and talked to the day manager and said, where can we set up the TriCaster? Where can the cameras be? And he's like, you can set it up right here and gave, us, gave them a spot. And TriCaster was set up, camera take cables were taped down. The doors open like at eight. At yeah. seven o'clock, the, the night manager comes in. He goes, this can't be here. We've sold seats back here. We're getting ready to put uh -oh. out seats. And so the portability of the TriCaster was that with the doors opening in less than an hour, they were able to pick up the TriCaster, move it, oh, and wow. actually we had they had to switch the show on a subwoofer. Wow. So with the tri TriCaster set up on a subwoofer, and we just re helped <laughs> them retape the cables, and within an hour we were shifted and ready to go and and, and do their live webcast. So that's cool. Yeah, pretty sweet stuff. So one question I have sure. is, you know, I'm looking at a TriCaster right now, right? What's the difference in feature set as you move up that price mm -hmm. range? You know, that's from getting started to going full out, top that, of the line. That's a great question. And one of the things we try to do at New Tech is make the the uh, the, the TriCaster that's you know around six grand, five or six grand, almost as powerful as the exp the more expensive ones. Okay. So that if if a school is learning on a TriCaster 40 that they got for five grand. A student Those could students go into the could go into a TriCaster 460 right. or 860 and and sit down and it's it's all very very similar and the features are similar. It just like one of the big differences is the types of cameras you can plug in. Okay. So like on the TriCaster 40 type TriCaster, it's component HD okay. because a lot of people that are going to be buying the lower end TriCaster are just using whatever cameras they can scavenge and they usually those have those component ad right. ad adapters. Yeah. So then the next one up is SDI, and then the next one up is analog and SDI, four cameras, and, th and that would be the 460. So it'll do c digital and analog c um, HD. And, and as then, you go up, yeah, you get more I, camera yeah. input. Yeah, right. the 860 is eight cameras instead of four and more audio channels, and the 8000 has more you know, refined workflow so stuff. So infinity and beyond. It really <laughs> is. You know, but that, that's the thing is we actually, because of we have such a good line is, is we actually um, created a program called Which TriCaster is Right for You. Oh, because, oh okay. You know, nice. it's like, we don't want you to buy the most expensive one unless you need the most expensive one. We want you to buy the right TriCaster for your need. So, it's kind of cool. Awesome. Love it. I well, want one, I right want one. <laughs> so, um, we are, I, I really appreciate you coming on and uh, chiming in and telling us about how this is all working. 
We are doing our best to do a behind the scenes video for you guys. Mm -hmm. I know you, a lot of you in the chat room were asking for product shots of the TriCaster as we were talking about I think it. Like we're filming that later um, today, right? Uh, yeah, I hope Maybe, so. I think so. <laughs> That's the plan. So uh, you guys keep an eye out for that. Uh, we'll be showing you exactly how we have the workflow here. Um, and of course, there are all sorts of different ways to do workflows, as Philip was saying right. earlier. But what can we expect to come out in the future? Like, are we expecting anything this year that you we know should what? Be we aware don't of? talk about what, what's coming. But but we're you know we're we're friends. It's all, all right. of my millions of friends <laughs> exactly. out here on the interwebs. <laughs> right? No, at, we're, you know, TriCaster is always getting more powerful. We're pushing the envelope on what you can do in virtual sets. Like one of the things that we recently announced is this technology in TriCaster called holographic virtual sets. Yeah. So oh. virtual sets usually you go into 3D software like Lightwave, mm -hmm. you model a virtual set, and sometimes they look real, sometimes they look very fake, but it allows you to have a cool looking studio. Well, our engineers thought it'd be cool to allow anyone to, with an iPhone to create their own virtual sets. So like, I, I could come to this stage and do a panoramic photo of your, your set here and load that into the TriCaster and it becomes a virtual set that yeah. you can pan around and how and, cool is that? That's amazing. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so we were, jo a, a, a friend of mine, Tom Green, uh, he may get oh, mad at me. Oh, a friend of mine. No, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> it actually is a reason for this story because he may, get, he may get mad at me for sharing this story <laughs> because, uh, sorry Tom, um, <laughs> but we were joking with this holographic virtual set is it'd be funny for him to like go to Jimmy Kimmel's stage oh, yeah. oh. and like do a pan panoramic of the Jimmy Kimmel stage and the next thing you know, Tom's yeah. like, hey, I'm here at Kimmel, <laughs> you know? So anyway, it's fun. That would be funny. We're Enabling the next generation of crazy stuff you're going to watch on video. Yeah. Yes. Love it. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank uh, you everybody. for always making us look so good. Uh, sure. You you make us look good. And also, uh, I have to say one more thing. Oh, I, okay. I took the coolest photo of Callie Lewis earlier. You did? Yes, and I, I posted it, it to my Twitter. You did? What? Yes. Okay, we'll go to uh, twitter.com slash Philip Nelson. At Philip Nelson with one L. One and L. you can see the greatest photo of Callie Lewis ever. I'm scared. Go there now. Please don't go Tell there. Tell us in the chat room what it is, because I, I don't have anything and, uh, handy. If you want me to take it down, I will. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Okay. okay. I, I just all you have to do is <laughs> ask me. After everyone has won, has looked. Ha ha! Gotcha. So. <laughs> all right, you guys, go check out newtech.com, and that's n e w t e k dot com. That is Philip Nelson. You'll see him around, and thank you guys for joining us. Uh, this is Kevin. Absolutely. I'm Callie. We'll be right back for more live uh, CES live. I did that backwards. That's all right. That's it's all my right. first, it's good. first time. Hashtag CES live. <laughs>